Mrs. Highsmith, are you feeling better? Chloe, you've already grown so much, I hardly recognize you. I grew a centimeter this month. Isn't that something? I miss you so much. Yes. Chloe, you shouldn't talk to strangers. Well, Mrs. Highsmith isn't a stranger. She's my old babysitter. Why don't you go inside and set up snakes and ladders, hmm? Okay. Bye, Mrs. Highsmith. Nice to see you. They're such a lovely family, aren't they? I miss them so much. You're not getting them back. They hate you for what you did. You scarred that poor little girl for life, physically and emotionally. Shame on you. They tell me every day how grateful they are to have me, because their last sitter was a worthless old bitch who couldn't take care of herself. to me and started screaming about how I stole her job and I didn't mean to. Oh, I'm so sorry. She's a very sick woman. I really just want to do a good job for you. You're doing a great job. Really. We're so happy with you. In fact, you would you like to stay for dinner tonight? I'd like that very much. Great. Chloe? Hi, sweetie. Oh, what happened? Special. Special, yeah, ugly. Tell her she's special. You're, you're special? No, tell her she's special. You, you're special? Good. I had the chance to truly apologize. I've been so ashamed. But I need you to know how sorry I am. Your family means the world to me. My family would be much better off if you just hurry up and die. Come for lunch? No, I just forgot the, uh, my uh, screwdriver. We're having hot dogs and beans. Thank you. Good morning, Mrs. Cousin. Good morning. Can I ask what you and Chloe talked about yesterday? Talked about? It must have been interesting. You talked for over three hours? Did Chloe say we talked for three hours? We talked about Mrs. Highsmith. Chloe had a lot of questions about death after what happened. But she'll be fine. She's a tough girl, just like her mommy. What's this about a monologue? Oh, it's from Little Women. Yeah, she's having a great time doing it, and she can't wait for you to see her perform. Well, Chloe will be performing the violin at the talent show. I'd appreciate it if you make sure she practices. Yes, ma'am. Have a nice day. Um, I put Chloe down for a nap, and um, she had a nightmare, so she asked me to stay with her, and. I guess I must have fallen asleep. Heather, did you clean the whole house and do all the laundry? Um, well, she passed out pretty early. More than nightmare, I mean. And, um, I was just feeling so antsy that I thought I'd make most of my energy. You don't have to do any of that, Heather. Any of that. Oh, I don't mind. And I know how hard it can be to keep up with your domestic duties on your work schedule, you know? We hired you to watch Chloe when we're not here. 
That's all. Okay? I'm sorry. I should go. construction site. No police. No mark. Just you. Living with that man. With what he did to me. That I dreamed every day of finding you. I waited until the day I turned 18. Until I was free. That's when I would track you down. You would have missed me so much. And regretted what you did. But then I finally did find you. And I saw that you didn't miss me at all. You were happy without me. You and your perfect little family. No. So I started watching you. Day in and day out. Waiting for a way in. You can't take my family. Hey. Silly mommy. I don't want to take your family. I want to destroy it. No, no. Look, look at this. What is that? It's the pendant I left with my daughter outside St. Anthony's Hospital. I didn't leave her with any teddy bear. No. And eight years ago, when I tracked her down, she'd been wearing this when she died in a car accident with her foster mother. Her father gave it to me. I'm sorry, Heather, it's the truth. You were not the only safe haven baby that night. And you are not my daughter. Why? This is your blood. This is your blood. Our blood is my blood. It's my blood. It's our blood. You, me, Chloe, we could be a family. It's so sweet how you think this is about you. Daddy! He was right. This is not a toy. Is Daddy all right? No, no. Do we care? No, we both don't have daddies, you see? I hate you. You know, you just don't deserve a daughter. <laughs> Say nighty night, Chloe.